Hey everybody, so I'm out here in the Fonsite Garden and I I was asked to do a update on one of my videos. It was a grafting video where I grafted a ficus French minor. And I was out here looking at all of my trees to figure out which tree it was. And I have to be honest with you, I have no clue. I have so many of them. And I have a few of them that it is kind of obvious that it's not that tree. Like this one, definitely not this tree. That tree is a brand new cutting. That's not it. Different pot. But the thing about the different pot, I very well could have repotted it and didn't remember that I repotted it. So I'm kind of wondering if this tree might be it that I did the graft on. And it's looking kind of bare or messed up or, you know, not, not so good because of the frost that we had this early spring. And I don't know for sure if this is the tree. It very well, it could be. And that's, that's a possibility. Or I have this other one over here. This one I thought might be it, because it has a very similar pot. It was a round pot that I worked on the tree. This tree has gotten much taller if it is that tree. But if you look, all the branches look very symmetrical. This branch down here kind of looks like it might have been grafted. It also kind of doesn't. Um, had another one over here. That, that might have been it. I don't know for sure, but if it was, we'll never know because that is the trunk. This is all new growth from this season. They, this one almost died because of the frost. I made a huge mistake and put everything outside too early and I lost some of my trees. Man, my camera action is not going to be so great because I've got got a bunch of stuff down here that's right in front of this so it's kind of hard to reach so please excuse the camera um, so I also had another one back here uh, let me see if I can get to it I got spider webs too you probably can't see that cute little spider right there I like leaving the spiders because they eat the bugs that I don't want out here like mosquitoes so I repotted this one because I wanted to make the root base deeper. So I know you've probably seen those um, bonsais that they sell at the box stores that have the really massive roots and then a tiny little tree on top of it. So kind of trying to do something like that with this tree here. So kind of looking it over and this one's losing some of the, the leaves that I normally say that you should take off which they shed them on their own also, but it just takes longer. But if you leave them, they will shed them. I mean, all of these are the, the leaves down here that it's, it's shed off. All right, so if I look at this tree closely, you can see this branch right here kind of looks like right there, it might've been grafted. But I, I don't know for sure what it actually looks like after the tree's grown for a while what a graft would look like like I said in the video I think at least I should have I don't have a whole lot of experience with grafting so I haven't done a whole lot of it so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do another video on, on grafting I really like this tree. It's pretty cool. It's got some interesting growth on it. This is another one that didn't do so well with the frost. So there was one other tree, because I don't think it was this tree. That tree is way bigger than the one that I grafted, so I don't think it was that one. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the garden as I go to the other tree over here. Got a bucket here, I'm putting all the weeds in. I'm trying to clear the ground of all the weeds. I've got some of it cleared up here. I filled that bucket like eight, nine, ten times, something like that, and it's, it's a good size bucket. Yeah, I've got some stuff going on. The maple is looking like it's starting to turn, losing its leaves. It's kind of losing its leaves a little weird. Getting spotty. So I don't know if that's natural or not. It kind of doesn't look natural, but I think that's what it did last year, and it did okay this year. So and this tree is looking like it's starting to turn also. I don't like that the trees are starting to turn already. I don't like winter. But anyway, okay, so I have this tree over here. And I did repot this. It was in a much smaller pot, as you can tell, because that that is the size of the pot that it was in. So it very well could have been the tree that I grafted. But, like I said, I don't know how to tell for sure. But this actually could have been it because the branches are all kind of flat going this way, going up and down the tree this way. And that's why I grafted it because it didn't have any branches on the other sides. And I'm kind of wondering if this is actually the branch that I grafted. And that branch is looking Phenomenal. I mean, it's got all kinds of leaves all over it, and, and I don't know. So I think that might be the one that I grafted. But like I said, I am not 100% sure. So I think I'm going to just make a new video and show you guys a little bit better, uh, a little bit shorter, and try to explain it and then do the work so that I'm not messing up the tree by not doing a good graft because I I did have one of the branches that I put on it did not make it so so yeah it didn't work out like it was supposed to and the both the branches should have survived so putting the wire back on it was a little loose I put wires over my my pots to keep them from blowing off the um, pedestals this is one that I did some work on repotted it. It's doing really well. It's got some new growth. These seem to grow relatively slow. I mean, well, really slow. I don't know if I said that in the video or if I said they grow pretty fast, but no, they, they grow pretty slow. Got a spider plant growing out here. It's looking pretty... It's looking really healthy, except for the, the bugs eat these. Grasshoppers love them. So anyway, I'm going to get to it and let's let's see what I can do I got this really large tree and I don't know how to give you a reference to how tall this is I think this is uh, thir 13 inch pot something like that um, so yeah it's a pretty good sized tree um, I didn't want to do another small tree because it didn't have such good um, results so I think I'm going to use a larger tree. I've got some branches here on the side that have died off. This is another tree. Obviously all my trees actually had some die back from this spring. Um, this, the cold weather, also the really hot weather when I did finally put them out. So this, this whole spring was just not good for most of my trees. And I think I have the... Uh, the sprinkler set um, too long so I think that's why it's got a lot of the yellow leaves on it um, these shouldn't be wet all the time they should actually be able to dry out throughout the day and then if they completely dry out you definitely want to water them a second time but they're getting enough water in the morning that they aren't drying out throughout the day, so they're they're just staying wet. So I need to change, or I did change the 
the duration, putting the camera back on the tripod here for you. So I did change the duration on the, the timer. I'm gonna try and get this a little bit closer. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna turn the light on. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. It's kind of dark today. It's, it's really cloudy and hasn't started raining yet, but certainly looks like it's going to. Okay, so I'm looking through, all right, so I'm looking through the, the tools to see if I have all the tools over here that I need, and I don't. I need my knife over here, so I'm going to grab that. All right, so I grab the knife, grab my file, and it is still hot out here even though it's cloudy. So I'm going to kind of run the file over the end of this. You want to have a sharp clean knife to do this. So make sure that your knife is sharp and clean so that you don't mess up the tree by introducing pathogens into the tree. Alright, so this tree, I am going to let it continue to grow. I'm not going to uh, cut any of the ends of the branches. I want this tree to get bigger. That's why I put it in this larger pot. Not too long ago, I want it to. Um, I want the, the trunk to thicken up. That's why this branch is still here, even though it doesn't look like it's doing so good. It should should regain some vigor. Um, these trees do grow during the winter time, uh, so I can I can have this in the greenhouse and it will still grow. It does slow down, but it will still grow. And if I keep the greenhouse at a, a relatively decent temperature, um, I definitely try to keep it over 40. Because I do have a couple of trees that don't do good under 40 degrees. So I definitely try to keep it over 40. But if I can keep it um, in the 50s, some of the trees do better that way. I've got a bunch of snails on this tree too. So I'm going to clean out all of the weeds here. I don't need any weeds in it to be continuing with later. And then another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little marker and a pen. I'm going to write on here graft so I can keep track of this tree. <laughs> so I don't come come across this, this uh, issue again so I can give an update later. Alright, so it's just graft on it that in there and that marker might wash off but I should still be able to remember that this is the tree that was grafted. Okay so first thing with grafting a tree you want to pick a tree that is healthy and this tree is honestly it's really not super healthy so I don't know how this is going to go but I'm going to go over it anyway this tree because this is uh, I think that's one of my best candidates for for this right now. And if the graft doesn't take, I, I'm sure it's not going to kill the rest of the tree. So it just might not take and that, that'll that suck, but it won't kill a tree. So we can try later also. So I'm going to look and I'm going to see where I want to put this graft on this tree. And I really think... It's doing okay over here on this side of the tree and over on this side of the tree It's kind of bare right here. So I think I'm gonna put a, a branch not directly across from these two branches, which I might I'm gonna leave that branch for now. We'll We'll do some other stuff with it later on other trimming and other uh, Grooming and all that stuff later. So I'm gonna well, I see one. I'm gonna take that leaf off that's it. Okay, so I have a couple of cuttings that I have over here that are for making new trees. This one here has roots on it. I I honestly don't remember how long this has been in the sand. But that's how much roots it's got already. A couple of days, I think. Alright, so I cleaned out the roots. 
just to let you see that's what it looks like after just a couple of days of growing in the sand so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do two things with it I'm not going to just cut the end off here and make this a whole branch because it doesn't look like a good branch because it's got this going up this going down but this this part here that's all I've got leaves on one side so I'm going to cut it off right here like that and that's going to be a tree I'm going to put it in the, the little water dish right here for now keep it from drying out and then that's going to be my branch I'm going to put this branch right here so I'm going to put it just like that and this one's got a, a snail on it too put those in the compost Good for the compost, not so good for your trees. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the leaves off of this because you don't need all the leaves on it to um, perspirate too much. Because if it has too much moisture uh, loss, then that can create um, issues. And make you lose the branch so you want to give it as much possibility for success as possible you want to leave some on there because you want this branch to still grow because that's what helps it to fuse to the tree is the fact that this branch is still growing so right here is a knot where there was a branch that is not some place that I, I said not it's not a good place to put a new branch because you can't just graft it to that. You have to graft it to the bark of the tree. All right, so that would not be a good place, but right under it, right here, wouldn't be a bad place, or right over it wouldn't be a bad place. And eventually, as this branch grows, it will grow into that spot, and it'll make that look like part of the branch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it back I'm not going to trim it too far because I don't want to damage it too much right there. So I want that to still grow. And I might actually put it off to the side right here and let that heal over. And I'm hoping that that will do well. And then I lost my knife because I put it on the printer. All right. So first thing you want to do is to... Take your cut, your cutting, and you want to cut off some of the bark on the top and some bark on the bottom. So depending on the angle that you want the branch to sit, if you want it to sit like this or like this, depends on how much you're going to cut off on both sides. Um, I think that there is a minimum that you want to cut off on each side and a maximum that you want to cut off. You don't want to cut... You don't want to cut it clear up here and take all of that off and leave all that exposed because then your branch would be sitting like this against the tree. So cutting off, I don't know what the angles are, but you just cut off a spot like this on the top of the branch and then a spot like that on the bottom of the branch. And it's going to make a flat edge on there so that and it's going to be sharp, kind of. I mean, obviously, it's not going to. Anyway. And it's going to make come to a, a point at the bottom here. So you're going to cut the bottom and the top. And then we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut a, a slit into the. Um, the bark of the tree and you want to be careful not to cut yourself and you want to be careful not to cut too much or cut too deep but you want to cut it all the way into the woody layer of the trunk so you want to go all the way through the cambium layer into the trunk so just kind of I just kind of rock it back and forth giving it some pressure but not so much pressure that it's going to slip off and, and cut me because that, that's not fun so then you're going to take your branch and you're going to slide it into that cut spot on the tree like 
like this. You're going to push it in there nice and tight. And it should hold itself just like that. Then the next step is you're going to take, you can take um, like a cellophane, like um, saran wrap, or I've seen people use um, electrical tape. I've seen people use um, grafting tape because that's you know, obviously what that's for is grafting tape. Um, but I've seen people use all kinds of different stuff. So don't be worried if you can't find grafting tape. I've got this um, tape that is for doing like plastic decorative plants. It, it tears pretty easy. So you got to kind of be careful with this. But it, it does have enough strength to it that I can tie this onto the tree and just keep it on the tree. Because the, the whole point of the tape is keeping this against the tree and keeping the tree protected from stuff getting in there. So I'm going to actually cut something off of this branch because that branch is going up into the tree. So I'm going to take the tape. I'm going to start it down here so that I can get a good anchor and get it um, on the tree nice and tight. Like I said, this stuff is, it tears kind of easy. So you got to be a little bit more gentle with it, but it does have kind of a sticky side to it. So it kind of helps to stick to the tree. We're going to go under, under the branch and we're going to go over the branch. And one of the biggest things that I've found is you've got to be careful not to knock the branch around too much because you want it to stay in place where you put it originally. Because moving the branch around is not good for the branch to adhere to the tree. Get it down in to protect the, the end of the branch there. Just wrap it around and around, and there we go. And because it is kind of sticky, this I'm hoping that it's going to stay long enough that the graft will take. But if it doesn't, I'll just have to rewrap it. Or I could take a piece of wire, small piece of wire. Wire is awesome in bonsai. So good for a lot of things. I could take a small piece of wire, thin wire. I just happen to have it sitting on the bench here. And I could take the wire and go nice and gentle around the tape. that to hold the tape on so it doesn't just come off later on and the wire isn't holding the branch on that's not what the wires for it's just to hold the tape on there so you don't want to put it so tight that you think it's going to hold the branch because all that's going to do is um, damage the, the bark of the tree and it won't adhere to the trunk so I mean it's it's a pretty simple process. I think I made the last video way longer than it should have been. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically how you graft. And you're going to want to graft. The, to make the tree look the same, if that's what you're going for. Because I know I've seen so many, so many people do grafting that... I'm going to move the camera a little bit this way. So I've seen uh, people do grafting where they take a branch off of a, a male tree and put it on a female tree, say like a, a citrus or an apple, pears, um, fruit trees, just in general fruit trees that, that need a male and a female tree. They'll graft the male branch 
onto a female tree or several male branches onto a female tree. And then that tree is self pollinating basically. So the, you know, the bees go around and pollinate the tree and it pollinates from the male branch to the female tree. Um, on this situation, we're trying to make this branch look like it was part of this tree. So picking a branch from a similar, um, a similar tree or the same mother tree or something like that could definitely help because like you see some of these trees they have a lighter colored trunk and some of them have a some of them have a darker colored trunk so this is actually going to turn to a lighter tree like this one as it grows but i have seen the Benjaminas where they, they grow up and they're, they're huge trees and they've got this dark bark on them. So having a similar mother plant to get the branch from will make it look like it was part of that tree. And that's kind of why I couldn't figure out which tree I had grabbed in the first place. Which kind of makes me feel dumb, but I mean, honestly, it could have been this tree. If it was this tree, there is no way to tell. This is another one that had some issues with the cold weather. And it's, it's starting to grow a little bit better, but this is going to be a long process. And to be honest, I don't know for sure that this wasn't the tree that I grafted. I don't know. It, I, I don't think so because it's got this really large spot here. So that was a, I cut that back. So I, I kind of doubt it. The tree that I grafted was a small tree. All right, so, so I think that's it for this video. And I appreciate you all watching. Um, like and subscribe. Go back and check out that other video and let me know what you think about the difference in the two videos. Hopefully I'm getting better at this um, the filming and the, the editing. Um, I'm working really hard at it. Hopefully I can grow this channel and make it, make it something, something nice, something that people can go and reference to. Um, also, I have seen a $50 um, bonsai challenge where you buy a tree, a pot, and the soil. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be all at the same place or in just that you, you've bought all of that for the challenge. Uh, so I'm going to try and work on doing that. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.